do you think that LLMs could help people learn this sort of thing? Like I, I use a lot of AI based learning tools myself, right? So notebook LM, probably the most obvious one, right? Uh, do you think that, that, that you think those are good tools to help people learn? Yes, but you need to remember it's not a professor. It is a tool. Uh, right. Tools have limitations. Tools can break and tools don't get the job done exactly as you want it unless you design it to be so. When you let's go with the chat GPT, because we all know chat GPT, we all have some information about that. You ask ChatGPT a question about quantum computing in general. Because of the generality of the question, it's going to give you a, it can may not give you the exact response that you're looking for. And as you're continuing to ask questions, it's going to get more and more towards what you're thinking. But if you don't know which questions to ask, it may go into the wrong direction and give you the wrong information. It may also be starting to make up information and going into a logic hole in and of itself. Because at the end of the day, the uh, I really are you guys familiar with it, what an NLP is? So what I like to say is an LLM is three NLPs in a, tra in a trench coat. It's still just a processor. It's still just trying to understand language. And if you're giving it the wrong language and the wrong concepts and you don't know how to communicate scientifically to an LLM, it's going to give you maybe not wrong responses, but more improper responses and trying to understand which ones are proper and which ones are improper. It can be the difference between understanding a concept and not understanding a concept and then disseminate. And if you're going to be talking with other people about it, you could be disseminating that information incorrectly as well. So what is do you think is the biggest misconception that people mm -hmm. have? about quantum computing and what it's going to do for all of us. That quantum can solve everything. Quantum is going to do three specific things. It's going to solve problems that we weren't able to solve before. These are known as either NP hard or variations of something hard problems that are computationally difficult for us to solve right now because we have the math for it, but it's just gonna take so long for the math to happen that we can't do it on the classical computer. There's uh, some problems. It's what's known as non-polynomial time. It's not necessarily that we don't have an answer for this. It's that the answer in itself is going to take so long to solve because there's so many ways that we can do it. Excuse me, I'm, that's not the way to say it. It's going to take so long to solve that in the way that we have right now.